if it works. My name is Michael Ladin. I am currently traveling more than 220,000 miles around the world on board my 1994 Storton Stevenson Overland Expedition Rig and KTM Adventure Bike. This is my story. Yes, I know, it has been an incredibly long time since I have appeared here on YouTube. I apologize for that, but over the next couple minutes, I'm gonna catch you up on what's been going on the last six months since I left you with sort of the walk around tour of both the inside and the outside of the store in Stevenson. I have been busy and uh, I had intended to put up a bunch of different videos. It just, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. So here I am, stuck in beautiful southern Baja, Mexico right now, and I am going to get this out because uh, there's just been an enormous amount of people, both that I met here, uh, honestly, driving around, and uh, that have emailed me, messaged me uh, through the various social media platforms, where have you disappeared to? So let's spend the next couple of minutes catching up, um, sort of on the journey that has been going on now, uh, it has been nearly 700 days that I've been on the road between the Mercedes Unimog and the Expedition Trailer, and then selling that last spring, and now that's almost a full year ago, and moving into uh, the truck that I'm sitting in right now. So the story of being stuck in Baja, yes, it was day one, I had just crossed the Mexican border, and uh, the long and short of the story is, and you're not going to see much video here, it was a little bit of clickbait to be honest with you, uh, to watch this video, but the reason for that is, when I say stuck, I mean stuck. Uh, I ended up getting stuck in a salt marsh for three days, and it took just an enormous team of people, quite frankly, to get me out. Uh, we had a couple of Jeeps. We had a Unimog, we had a tow truck, we had a gigantic John Deere tractor. And at the end of the day, truthfully, we had a couple Mexican kids, uh, probably 10, 12 years old, three of them, that went underneath the truck, dug for a day and a half, and basically dug out all of the dirt with what I would be considered to be like toy shovels. And um, yeah. Uh, dug it out, we set it up for a pull, we actually jacked up uh, all four wheels uh, individually one at a time, put rocks underneath, we put uh, uh, some uh, tracks down underneath the tires, and then we went for our pull. Now this was not without some failed attempts, I will tell you. Uh, we had a nighttime failed attempt that actually we had a cable rope slash uh, shackle break and fly at the truck and pretty much thought it was doomed at that point because it looked like it had gone through the radiator. Um, luckily it wasn't a couple feet higher or it would have went through my windshield and probably through me. So the, 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 the tale of the story uh, just goes on and on and on. But to suffice to say, I did get out. Uh, it, you know, I, I, it was late in the day and I should never have gotten stuck in the first place. I was on sand on the beach and if I had stuck to sand, it would have been fine. Uh, the sun was kind of going down. I was tired from driving uh, that day and crossing the border, and I wanted to go get an Instagram shot. Go figure. And uh, I looked over to my right, and I saw what looked to be like a darker surface. looked pretty hard. And the long and short of it is I turned uh, to just sort of loop back around up to you know a harder surface. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the salt marsh was, was about, it was kind of like going on a pond of ice. It was extremely hard at the top, but as soon as I cracked through the top layer, uh, I was literally stuck maybe five, eight feet off of the sand, and that was just enough 
and at 22,000 pounds, buried to above both axles, there was not much that was going to pull me out of that. And the downside of it is, it was uh, happened on a uh, Wednesday, and full moon, high tide, coming in on Saturday, and the reason that it's a salt marsh is because it's a little tidal pool, and there was some worry that the water was going to come in. So we were kind of also trying to beat uh, beat the odds, uh, beat the time, and get pulled out. And I ended up getting out on uh, Friday. So it was not much time to spare. So that's the story of being stuck in Baja. And um, the truth of it is, I'm actually stuck in Baja still because uh, we are now into uh, April and uh, I have been in Baja since December. Uh, just uh, loving the trip down here. Um, awesome people, met so many different uh, overland trucks, van lifers, uh, RV people down here, and uh, the locals have been just uh, absolutely fantastic. Met a lot of people that have homes down here and uh, really enjoying sort of the laid back atmosphere. Uh, if you've never been down to uh, the Baja Peninsula, it is definitely worth it. I will tell you that the number one uh, thing that I did before I left on this trip that has turned out to be uh, such a blessing is buying my KTM motorcycle because uh, to date I have put uh, over 2,000 miles on the motorcycle pretty much discovering and exploring virtually every part of South Baja. Uh, up and down all the dirt roads, of which is probably 95% dirt, and uh, just just been able to see and and, and explore and, and and visit many places that either the truck was too big to go to, or um, it would just be you know kind of a a, a big rigmarole to get the truck uh, you know you know pack up and move around so, as much as I would have had to. So uh, that was a plus. Um, and it's one of the things I would tell you uh, for those of you out there that are planning on potentially building out a big truck like this um, I highly recommend having uh, a motorcycle or some kind of means of transport uh, so you don't have to move your whole rig around and that has turned out to be great the, uh, the store in Stevenson has pretty much stayed parked here in uh, what is called an Arroyo, it's a dry riverbed and uh, has moved not too much. I, I mean, I backed it up a number of times. Uh, there is a well that's located uh, where I'm staying and I backed it up, uh, put my pump down and pulled water up, pulled my 85 gallons up uh, from my fresh water tank. And uh, I've, I've done a little bit of movement, uh, you know, up and down the, what they call the East Cape here. And I've camped at some uh, of uh, other locations with the, with the truck. But, but by and large, it's been uh, sort of a two wheeled, motorcycle tour of South Baja. So how did I get here? Well, fall came to Gloucester, Massachusetts, and I had spent most of the summer testing my new custom build of the store in Stevenson. With a few last minute projects like increasing the size of the fuel tank, and more importantly, making a custom mount for my new KTM adventure bike on the rear of the truck, it was now time to hit the road. I have a custom aluminum kayak mount made by uh, Rose Marine here in uh, Glosser. I made an important stop in Pennsylvania for a couple more upgrades to the store in Stevenson, including high-speed gears and a 260-amp alternator. And then there was a little bit of fun in Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know who the crazy son of a bitch that thought it was a good idea to give me one of these was, but I'll tell you what, I like them. Ah! Get it! Die! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, you will die! <laughs> I love my job sometimes. Here we go, Peter's coming in now. <laughs> He's still got it. He's still got the same muscles. 
<laughs> okay, but, but look at this. This is, so this is duck fat potatoes. Yeah. Duck fat. Potatoes. So, yeah. so one of the locally sourced bacon cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. one of, oh, yeah. local, like local, local in New Mexico. It's not like this in Vermont or Northeast. It's not as prevalent. Here it's like. It is local as local. And it's like an old fashioned saloon. It's too much. It is. This is like, 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 oh, this is like one horse town. Oh, yeah. One horse town. Oh, most of it's here. That's Peter up there in the BW Bugaroonie. Great name. All right, checking in here today uh, from, you know, I don't even know where the heck we are. Placitas, New Mexico. And, uh, yeah, you're wondering what we're doing? Well, this is what we're doing. We're off-roading with destroying Stevenson and a Volkswagen Buck. Don't know if it's a good idea or not yet. Good morning from Southern California. It is a beautiful, sunny, and clear day out today. Uh, I am about two miles from Algodones, uh, border crossing into Mexico. And uh, we got a, a couple day delay in Yuma, Arizona. I've actually walked across the uh, border into Mexico three times in the last two days straight now. Some paperwork issues, that's a story for another day. But uh, heading in, I uh, got about 900 mile drive probably now down to the tip of Baja. And uh, I realized this morning, it's probably the longest drive, continuous drive I've done in a long time. 4,000 miles from New England. Uh, last time, probably in the early 2000s, 8,000 something miles across Western Africa. So I will be checking in with you guys from the other side. checking in here on Christmas Eve, drinking a Takati actually, but this is our group here. See this group right here? Okay, everybody's wave over here. There you go. Hiya! There we go, Christmas Eve party here. <laughs> so just what am I doing here in Southern Baja? How about the custom build out on the store in Stevenson? It's been about a year and I've got a lot to talk about with this truck and the new KTM Adventure motorcycle. And speaking of the future, what are my plans for this coming summer and for the larger trip around the world that I'm on right now? Well, all of these are great questions and I've got a whole lot more that you guys have asked that I'm gonna be answering. But for that, you're gonna to have to wait for next Tuesday and next episode. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.